is up you guys it's Audrey and welcome back to my channel if you are new bonjour and welcome so today's video I'm going to be baking cupcakes and I'm actually gonna be talking through it. I know I usually just do voiceovers but you know we're trying something new my 100th video which you guys probably saw in the intro but so it's gonna be a little more special we're gonna decorate it it's gonna be cute um also if you guys saw I don't know, I've I put this cake that I'm making, I'm not making a cake because that's going to take too long, but I'm making cupcakes, but it's the same recipe that I did for um, my birthday cake that you guys all saw, and a lot of you actually, I never even like gave that recipe out, but this is like a really good basic one, not many ingredients. Um, okay, so the first ingredient is one and a half cups of almond milk, any non-dairy milk, and then the two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar because this makes like... What is it called? What is it called? What's that special milk people put in stuff? Oh, buttermilk. <laughs> but it's just like a vegan buttermilk, I guess, is what. Um, and then the recipe says just to let it stand for five minutes. Um, so we're just letting that sit there. And then you add the sugar, oil, and vanilla extract, and you whisk that all together until it becomes frothy. So I'm actually going to put it in that little mixer over there one cup plus two tablespoons of sugar and okay i'll have this whole recipe just linked below because this might be just hard to follow obviously okay next calls for one third of a cup of vegetable oil but i'm gonna use this don't come for me but um i know this is it's canola oil isn't like the the best i just one third of a cup of this it's not like we're trying to be healthy here anyways if we're making cupcakes, so. Uh, vanilla extract. And now I'm just going to pour in the buttermilk and beat it, okay? And you're supposed to do that until it becomes frothy, so. Just sift in all of the dry ingredients. Um, I used to like never listen to this step in ingredients or in, recipes <laughs> um because it just like, kind of seemed uh, annoying I don't, I don't know but it actually does help a lot with how it comes out or else there'll be like weird chunks i just just sift it okay right. i use this half cup because i have literally no clue what just happened in my cup but so two cups of flour um and then three tablespoons of cornstarch three-fourths teaspoon of baking soda and then one teaspoon of baking powder but I don't have baking soda which it, they're literally barely difference at all I've looked this up so you can just use equal amounts of just the baking powder if that's all you have three-fourths a teaspoon of salt so I'm just gonna put that all in there so I'm just showing you guys individually so we can like get this going the cup was inside of the flour Okay, so I made the batter and okay, I really noticed. <laughs> Babies, you have to be quiet. I'm going to make um, a chocolate buttercream frosting. So. I'm making cupcakes. Cupcakes. <laughs> We're gonna start on the frosting. I just cleaned this out. Basically, this is almost just like a one bowl kind of recipe. I don't have, I don't think I have, I have all the stuff, but I think I, I don't have all like a large amount. Like there's eight cups of powdered sugar in this recipe and I, I don't have eight cups of powdered sugar. I think I had like two cups. I'm not measuring this exactly because. One cup of raw cacao, but now I'm only gonna do one fourth of a cup. I could just use like cocoa powder. That's what I was about to do. This honestly, this tastes better. It has some nutritional value to it as well. And then one cup of vegan butter. So that's just gonna be one fourth of a cup. Oh, I literally, I probably, this is all almond milk I have left. Oh wow, perfect. Yeah, I'm out now. So vegan butter, flash of vanilla extract. <laughs> Update on this frosting, it looks like brownie batter. 
This is literally the worst thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. I really saved the day. Um, so basically what I did is I added two, two more cups of powdered sugar because I found some miraculously. I don't even know. I was like hunting down here and there was a bag that had a decent amount. So I put two cups in and that made it so, so much better. I should have just left it there, but it was a lot sweeter. So I wanted to add more cacao and a little bit more powdered sugar. So then it was very, very thick. Um, but since I'm like frosting the cupcakes like this, I needed it to still be a little softer. So I added some more butter and I will show you guys. And also they're out of the oven as well. But I'm just really pleased. Um, I literally thought we were just going to have some runny little glazy batter crap that I just messed up. But it looks like we're okay. All right. In all her glory, she's really beautiful. Um, yeah. Really pleased with her. She's done good. The cupcakes laid out. I'm gonna do that kind of thing when people like almost make it like a cake how they frost it, you know, it will all look put together. So I have all of the chocolate buttercream frosting right in here. I'm just gonna cut this tip and I'll probably frost all of them individual and then kind of smear around. So I finished making the cupcakes and I decorated them. Link all these recipes for the frosting and the cupcake below. They are really, really, really good. Definitely about to eat all of these, but um, no, really, thank you guys so, so much for all of your support for over two years and now are uh, on our 100th video, which is crazy. Y'all know I always wanted to start a YouTube channel forever, and the fact that I actually did and I made 100 videos now is really kind of crazy to me. Um, but yeah, I love you guys, and um... like this video and we can all be pals.